taking shelter under a palm tree in Oxnard. I'm Mike Fisher reporting with the Cowboys. As uh, we go camping, they do the same with a day off. But uh, it's not a Jerry Jones day off, nor is it a Malik Hooker day off. Three items of uh, NFL business, or maybe a little bit more, uh, as we file this report. The first one is about Malik Hooker, and he's in. And we already told you that he was on campus, and we already told you the Cowboys' plans, the five-day protocol and the rest. But visiting on 105 through the fan on Monday um, morning, afternoon, Cowboys owner Jerry Jones, when asked by the fellas about Malik being official and where are we there, here's Jerry's exact answer. Uh, I think so, of course. As a matter of fact, pretty official, uh, what you're hearing. Uh, he's on campus, and he can, can't join uh, because he's got to go through the protocol and do those kinds of things, but we do feel good about having him join the team. So in other words, uh, in the fungible world of Jerry Jones where anything is possible, we also have to remember that also everything is also impossible and unpossible. But <laughs> the Cowboys, Cowboys have essentially uh, signed, in the words of Jerry Jones, uh, the star when healthy safety, Malik Hooker. Now, um, we're going to work on the assumption that they know that he's going to pass through the protocol just fine. Uh, we're going to work on the assumption that they've already done the Achilles stuff, and that's fine. I think a short-term deal makes a lot of sense here, too. Uh, that figures to help the Cowboys a great deal, assuming that he can really line up and play. Then there is the news of Aaron Rodgers. And um, while the, the Cowboys have happiness at quarterback, uh, the Packers do not. Aaron Rodgers will reportedly uh, go ahead and decide to show up in Green Bay and play for the Packers this year. And uh, everything can be fine and rosy, except uh, our friend Mike Silver, who works for Washington, okay, at the same time works for NFL Network, is friends with Aaron Rodgers and is friends with Ron Rivera, all three of them Cal guys, just kind of throws out there speculatively, I wonder if Aaron Rodgers could go back to the Packers with two years left on his contract and say, hey, what if we split the difference and let's just let me play here one year and let me go next year? Hmm, where, why, how? Washington? Uh, and then speaking of Washington, they have uh, sealed the deal with Jonathan Allen, a uh, four-year deal, uh, one of their four great defensive lineman. That's uh, four years, $72 million. And uh, Washington uh, has put together a ball club under uh, Ron Rivera. Aaron Rodgers, by the way, one more thing, trying to put together a ball club in Green Bay. Now there's a rumor. This comes from Trey Wingo. This is, and I don't know that Trey Wingo knows anything, but this is so odd. He's uh, reporting slash suggesting that Aaron Rodgers will be happy in Green Bay if the Packers bring in Randall Cobb, the wide receiver, that's, that's it. It's not about more money or more power. It's not about who we drafted. It's not about I hate the president, team president. It's not about I don't like the coach or I don't believe in the job. It's Randall Cobb. And what's funny about it is Randall Cobb, who used to play in Green Bay, and of course he used to play in Dallas, he, he plays for the Houston Texans. I'm not sure under what circumstance <laughs> Aaron Rodgers thinks I, 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 I'll, I'll, do, I'll do what I'm contractually obligated to do if you go get me a wide receiver on another team. Uh, there's uh, three or four transaction wire issues right now as we report on the Cowboys and Washington and the Texans and the Packers uh, fish out.